Uh, we're going to take a, a look at a really neat um, software program called Video Container Switcher, uh, which is open source GPL, uh, which is uh, located in SourceForge. Uh, it uses a uh, software program called FFmpeg to do all the conversions, uh, which is also, I believe, open source as well. While you could do it at a command line level, it's just um, very hard to remember the command line um, words you got to put down and they're very cryptic. So this, uh, the developer Felipe made this nice graphic interface uh, to make it uh, far more easier and faster to, to uh, do the conversion. Now, um, what this does is actually ch uh, change the, uh, the video container only. It does not um, re-encode the video file inside of it. So let's talk about what a um, contain a video file container or sometimes I call it a wrapper is to give an example um, one of the camcorder camcorders uh, excuse me Canon camcorders that I have uh, uses a MXF file extension which is a wrapper and inside that uh, file extension is actually an MPEG2 video file so what this does is it changes the container only and leaves the file untouched well what does that mean um, for us video um, editors like such as myself um, every time you re-encode a video file you, you degrade it, uh, its quality um, by a certain amount so often we have to re-encode that video file several times and if you upload it to YouTube or other sharing sites then it re-encodes it again so um, you're actually uh, here you're just only uh, switching or changing the container and not the video file inside of it which is a better way of doing it now you don't always have to do that but in certain situations where you do have to change the container file only you'd want to use something like this so I kind of want to explain the reason why you might want to use this now I've got a file right here we're going to actually change which is the iul.mkv uh, that's the file extension for that so we're going to open that up uh, and uh, we got it right here and once we do that, um, obviously you can take your destination file uh, using this folder. Now if you're going to output it to the same folder, uh, which we're actually going to do, you're just going to check same as input to the same directory file. Now if you're going to put it somewhere else, obviously you're going to uncheck it and then select where you want it using another browser, browser window. Uh, now um, here's a different uh, video file containers you can use. Uh, which you got MP, uh, MP4, AVI, several MPEG, and Windows Media File, several. Uh, we're just actually going to keep it a MP4 container. Now this you want to be careful of um, because often you don't want to change your destination or your original file. So you might want to make sure that's checked or else it'll erase it. Uh, big mistake for some of us. And I'm also going to open up the um, window which is um, a terminal window uh, that uh, gives you the actual um, FFmpeg output from the uh, command line level you can see that so we're gonna go ahead and convert it now and uh, as you can see it's fairly quick it's only really a uh, 10 minute file and you also find as well that it's actually very fast when it does this not because of the software program itself but since you're only changing the container and not re-encoding the whole file, it's going to be very quick. Uh, in fact, I re-encoded a one gigabyte file, um, just changed the container, and it only took about 10 to 20 seconds. So as you can see, that's very fast. And as you can see right here, this is the new file. from. Uh, it went from a uh, MKV file extension to the MP4. And uh, I'm just going to play it just to show you. And we got it coming up. And as you can see, it plays fine. So uh, good job on that, um, Felipe, the developer. And uh, you can find that on um, SourceForge. I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, good job there, Felipe.